here I am again. I don't know if I'm framing myself in the best way. I don't know. <laughs> Give it a try. My name is Frank Farrell. Once again, I'm hiking on the trails today at the Little Red Schoolhouse Nature Center in um, Willow Springs, Illinois, south of Chicago, near Palos Hills, Orland, or Orland, Illinois. Orland Park, maybe. Yeah. It's great. It's a beautiful day. Saturday, March 19th, 2011. Um, I'm going to turn the viewer to you and you'll see what I see. Yeah, it's real interesting when you're hiking because you want to give everybody the privacy so they feel like they're on, on their own, by them, you know, out alone in the woods. You're not, of course, but um, it's an unspoken thing, I feel, between people who are hiking. And I think hiking makes these places safer for everyone, because, you know, everyone should know that when they're out in the, these wonderful trails, who knows who could show up around any corner, hiking, enjoying the hiking trails. Trails don't stay trails unless you walk them. So, I say walk, go out, do some hiking. Part two, this is part two of a hiking trail that you get to from the Little Red Schoolhouse Nature Center the Cook County Forest Preserve, their wonderful bike path runs very close to this, you know, a combination of taking this trail in and then hiking some of the Cook County Forest Preserve Trail. It's a beautiful day, that would be. And you know, from someone like me who lives in Chicago, always looking for good hiking places nearby, this is the widest swath on the map of green for the Lake County Forest Preserve. And that's what attracted me to it. So this, we still have the um, Long John Slough on the right. Oh, it's really beautiful. It's barren of greenery. No buds yet. I can see Rick down below. I'm going to pick up my speed. Well, I pick up my speed, I think the picture becomes more bumpy, doesn't it? I think in time I may develop <laughs> an arm that can keep everything in balance. Maybe. Maybe I'll gain that. We'll see. I've been hiking since 1990. I mean, I hiked before with Boy Scouts at great times. The Sierra Club. Oh, I had a great hike. Maybe, maybe it was one. I could have been the first one that a light bulb went off in my head. A hundred people, and it was in New York State, and two by two, it was a very long line of people, and you could feel the ground under your feet shaking from all the walking on the trail. Feeling your fellow hikers walking, the vibrations on the trail, I had never felt that before. Maybe it has something to do with, oh, this is silly, a hollowness in the ground? I don't know. Maybe it's a rocky ground? I don't know. Well, up ahead is my hiking friend, Rick. So Rick, do you like hiking uphill? It's not my favorite. It's not your favorite. I'm getting extra buttocks exercise this way. That's good. That's good. Does any of this look familiar? No. I've never been far out in Oh. So you're really far out, huh? Uh -huh. Okay. Well that that's a truism, I think. When you're hiking, the further out you get, the less people you'll see. You know, that other extra feeling of privacy, being alone in the woods. Very refreshing. This is part two of the hiking trail. The White Oak hiking trail from the Little Red Schoolhouse Nature Center in Willow Springs, Illinois. One and two thirds miles. Ooh. 
one and two thirds miles. Thank you, Rick, for that information. Now, uh, I was trying to figure out what was here before this became this uh, nature center area. You know, I don't know, a hundred years ago. Do you think it was just woods? Uh, all around here. Hmm. Occasionally, like we're gonna we're gonna pass a place. I think. Yeah, I think we will. We're gonna pass a place where the schoolhouse originally was. And you could tell there's this road they used to walk to to get to the schoolhouse. So there might have been some homes in the woods here. So what is this trail curve back around? Yes. This this the, yes, Rick, this trail curves back around and it becomes a loop to where we began at the gate that closes at 4 30 p.m. And you don't want to be locked in because you're gonna have to climb the fence or sleep. And if it's nice, why not sleep? <laughs> 